Hi guys, welcome to another video on Barat in Germany. My name is Selina and that's Barat, of course. <laughs> my husband. Um, to, in today's video we wanted to speak about um, how it is to get married as an interracial couple in EU um, or even anywhere else. So for many couples it's a problem to get married when they are from two different nationalities and living in two different countries because there are many documents required, the process is quite complicated and for you to prove to the governments that you guys are eligible to get married is, like I said, very complicated process. So there is a simple solution to all of this and that is getting married in Denmark. Whether you live in EU or outside EU, it doesn't matter. It is the most simple way for you and it's also 100% legal and you can easily get it recognized in your country. You will be getting a marriage certificate with a postal from the Hague Convention and um, I think in this convention there are 150 countries. Most countries are inside um, like US, UK, almost whole of Europe, India, so many other countries. So in Denmark there are only three main documents required, passport, visa, you can also get married on a tourist visa, it's not a problem. And um, I like to file with a single status certificate just because there's no extra inquiries for it and the process doesn't get delayed, that's why I like to um, attach it right away. So we just save the time and we can get the approval within five days. And then also you have to prove that you are in a real relationship that um, with pictures and just answering a few questions about your relationship. So that's what I just would recommend to other interracial couples like Bharat and me. For us it was very complicated to get married. We tried in Germany, we tried in India. Nothing worked out. Then finally we came to the solution of getting married in Denmark. And now I'm helping couples in the same situation or even in other situations like same-sex marriage, different religions or families who don't support the marriage and you need to get married maybe in secret or in general like interracial couples, migrants, so many cases are there. This is just a quick video giving you something to consider. For me it's definitely the best option and for most people as well. You can go check out the process on my website marryindenmark.com you can book a free consultation where we can see if that's a good option for you or you can just write me email directly at erodiaries at gmail.com When we were trying to get married in India, like there were just so many documents required also from the Germany side. You need the AFH Guides Okunda, which is the marriageability certificate, which again like takes very long to like just to apply for in Germany. And then afterwards, once you come to um, India, you have to get a no objection certificate from the German embassy. And then afterwards, you get married and things like that. And that was just way too complicated. It would take at least like you know six to eight months, which is an absolutely nonsense stuff because when you want to get married, you don't want to like you know run circles for the paperwork. So we tried to get married in Germany too. It was the same like process, like super long. And Birth then we saw, and all of yeah. these things were required. Anyways, like Indian birth certificates and stuff, they don't look the best. They don't look legitimate most of the times. And that's also then just elongates the process so much more. They are not easily recognized. Yeah. Um, with some clients of mine I was talking, they were like, okay, we were already ready with all the documents on the list. And then they are telling us to like go to the notary again and do some other recognition. Mm. Then all of a sudden the parents had to sign on a stamp paper, things like that. And they were telling me we already spent like hundreds of euros just yeah. on um, legalizations, translations. No, really, if you want to like go and marry in Germany, India or many of the other EU countries, like it is on your own risk and like it is going to be a very stupid decision because it is just going to cause you so much more nerves and so and much time. more time yeah. and that is something that you can just save for yourself it's not needed like you just want to get married you don't want to like you know i don't know build the next nuclear plant or something that you're getting so many permissions from every single place and like i said denmark only free documents super easy even many couples are worried about the single status certificate but trust me, it's very simple to get. I will guide you with it. It sounds more complicated than it is. 
many cup many couples also tell me oh we don't have this in my country trust me you have it in mm. your country you yeah. just don't know yeah. what specific once you start yeah yeah But i also thought in india because it was written everywhere yeah. that like you know special marriage act and stuff like it will be very easy to like get married but you inquire you talk to them and they say like you have to stay the spouse or the fiance have has to stay in the country for 30 days who has the time for 30 days to like yeah. stay in that place and like still not know if it is actually going to go through or not because we all know how systems work in india they're like not effective at all and sometimes there are just so many unnecessary delays that's why like i think it is better to not to choose that part and also for the family reunion visa most interracial couples they marry and they will try to start a life together and move in the same country so for the family reunion visa it will also be the most simple thing to get uh, like to get married in denmark and have this danish marriage certificate with a apostille it is in five language english is one of them so it will be recognized anywhere in any embassy because it's in english um so you don't need to spend money on translations and things like that and with this apostille it will be 100% like valid and in EU anyways even without the apostille it is accepted without the issue yeah so denmark i would always recommend for interracial couples especially it is the most simple way um to get married and to start your life together as soon as you can otherwise you will be wasting a lot of time preparing the documents going back and forth with the government and yes if you have any questions please reach out to me like i mentioned before and then we will keep in touch yes bye bye